Hi McNuclean! Today, how to create a map of an imaginary world for the Peter Pan lying inside of us. Whether it's a Neverland, a sword and sorcery universe, or a magic world parallel to ours, your reader needs a map. So here we go. So you need a piece of tissue to protect your kitchen. Uh, you're gonna need coffee, actually two small spoons of coffee. Um, something to spread the coffee wet, um, very hot water. On the sheet of paper, you should plan a quite big sheet of paper because we're going to see um, your map is going to be reduced. So, you spread this liquid, this coffee, on your sheet of paper and um, don't hesitate to really do it twice or three times to really have this um, beautiful brownie color uh, to give this very old aspect. So you let it dry, but not completely, because we're going to work on it, actually. Once you have it um, half dried, it still should be a bit humid, you're going to tear the, the, the borders of uh, the sheet of paper. Don't hesitate to work on the paper, to really stretch it, um, to make it uh, look older, to make it look bruised, you know, as if it had been um, rolled up in the pocket of someone, uh, the character of your universe, for example. And once you have done that, you're going to remove the paper um, on each side of um, the piece of paper. So you're going to see the size of the map is going to be really very much reduced. And here we go. That's it. We got the map ready to welcome uh, the writing of your universe. So this is um, Hi Zayans universe, uh, my <laughs> Neverland, uh, coming from Memories of Hi Zayan, an imaginary world of heroic fantasy that I have been developing since the age of 17. I advise you to draw your map with the fountain pen because it will be much more precise. Um, I love the effect of the ink. We really see the difference, in fact, much more than with um, much more than with a plastic pen or a pencil. I find that there is a particular aspect to the letters with a fountain pen. So you should indicate in a corner of your map the north, south, east and west. This is still quite important for your reader, even if the order of the letters will give him indications on the map. In the Lord of the Rings map, for example, they do that. Um, I think it's very pretty, curved letters to give a dynamic and aesthetic appearance and sometimes to surround the name of the cities. Minas Tirith, for example, um, if you observe on the map of the Lord of the Rings, it is written around the city. Then I advise you to draw first the um, mountains of this fantasy heroic world because it takes a bit of space to draw these mountains. You see all these little triangles, it takes space. So it allows you then to locate where you will draw the rivers, the rivers and uh, also the small rivers. So in the center of these high Zion lands, um, it is a river that is a central uh, element of this land. So I take it from the bottom to the top to the sacred forest of Ethertred. This sacred forest is full of magic and is widely described in my novel number one, The Sentinels of the Invisible. It's a forest with mountains, but mountains not necessarily rocky, but green. That's why I make small dots to notify, to make the, um, the green appear. The river has two tributaries and will enter the heart of the forest and irrigate all this forest full of magic and legendary creatures. There is also a lake in which the heroine um, Andraste will live a rather particular experience. And after all that, what I advise you to do is to draw the cities, to mark the main cities so you can see um, the travels of your characters and to calculate the distance and to see if it fits your story or not. It is very important to create a map of your imaginary world uh, for you as a writer or just as, um, as, as a nerd, <laughs> fan of the Lord of the Rings. It really allows you to create even more characters, even more cities, even more civilizations. And um, it's a really interesting exercise as a heroic fantasy or sword and sorcery writer.
If you ever want to discover the mountains of the god Ethel, Rosendal, or the Ephedred Forest, where the action of the first novel, Memoirs of Hazayan, uh, takes place, then I invite you to subscribe. I will continue to upload heroic fantasy content, including portraits of heroic fantasy authors, so stuff that you might be interested in. Also, feel free to join my Facebook page, uh, Hi Zion, and I thank you, and I see you soon, the McNeil fan.